Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some startup company with the new console edition of the game. So I've played a little bit of the original PC version, and I'm excited to try out what is going on in the console version of the game, see if there's any new changes, and see how the game plays. I am on a PlayStation 5, ready to enjoy a brand new game, so let's fire it up. Now we can go into career mode or custom game, and career mode is recommended for new players, which I am, and this is what I'm going to do. It says the game starts at the age of 18 and continues till you retire at age 67, kind of a longer retirement age, uh, but that's okay. So we're going to select this, and um, we can choose our company name. We could be Superstar Developers Incorporated, um, which I'm actually going to go back. I want to change that, so I'm going to push square to edit this. I can't be Superstar Developers Incorporated. I can be, though, um, Incompetent, you know, Developers I'll develop, but I'm going to go back here and we're going to go developers um, and incompetent developers. You know what's a good word to end this with is unlimited, right? There you go. Perfect. All right, so we are incompetent developers unlimited. Oh, it's too long, isn't it? Okay. Well, fine. We'll have to put limits on our development and just be incompetent developers. That's okay. Let's go. Choose a name for the CEO. Well, John Doe is not going to do it. CEO's obviously got to be Dr. Incompetent. There you go. Dr. Incompetent is the CEO. And um, let's choose our avatar and... Uh, let's see. This one looks the best. And um, I'm going to go here, and we're going to select this one. And backstory could be X designer, X manager, X developer. Um, and it looks like there's green, yellow, and red, um, which means probably that you get better stats in this category. Do we want to be a, a former manager, a former developer, or a former designer? Um, let's just go ahead with an ex-developer, okay? With your background as a developer, you can help produce technical components for building your new website. Great. And we need a name for our website, okay? No problem. We're going to be um, incompetent website. This seems like who wouldn't want to go to the incompetent website, right? And good. And do we want to be social media, shopping, streaming, video sharing, dating, gaming? Let's be a gaming platform, okay? And here we go. Hi there. Nice to meet you. My name is Pam, and I'm your new advisor from Johnson Invest. Have you noticed the milestones underneath your website? Every time you complete a milestone, a payment will be made instantly. I love instant payments. I'm happy about that. Um, starting by getting an office, that seems important. We recommend that you rent the office at 4 West Bridge Street downtown. It's in blue. So this is a good website, uh, or uh, sorry, a good office for our website. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select it, I guess. I pushed R3 to kind of close her dialogue, and I'm going to select this. And it's an office, 10 max workstations, one floor, 10 grand up front, and 3000 a month. Ooh, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I have $15,000. 10 goes into the office. I can, I can have a month and a half of runway, as it were, and that's with no equipment. But let's, let's go ahead and do it. I did it. Oh, I got more money. 
by completing a milestone, I guess. Um, fantastic. The game's radial menu allows you to navigate through the game's menu. So this is a new addition to the console version. Um, use L2 and select any option by rotating the left stick. Press X to confirm your selection. Okay. Um, navigation. Use the right stick to interact with switches, navigation scrolls, and other elements Use the left stick to navigate through the windows, okay? Camera controls. The game con camera has two options. Panning and zooming. It is not possible to rotate the camera, all right? So you pan with the right stick and you zoom with left one and right one, okay? Control time using the D-pad. And let's see. You can push up to go normal speed, right to increase, left to decrease um, and oops uh, down pauses the game okay cool at the end of every day a message will display allowing you to use the time machine you can enable it by using the start time machine which is up uh, okay it can also be automatically enabled through the auto start from the pause menu oh okay fair enough and city map the city map gives you access to all the buildings in the startup company. There are two types of buildings, office and hosting. All buildings are rented and have to be paid for daily. There's an upfront payment you have to pay when you move into new buildings. Office buildings hold your employees. This is where your work is done. An office building has a limitation of how many workstations employees are allowed. Some buildings have multiple floors. And hosting is for racks and servers. Dedicated hosting buildings are only relevant if you have reached the maximum number of vertical servers. There is no limitation of how many devices you can install in a hosting building, except for the physical limitation. Each building comes with an initial temperature. The lower the temperature, the less cooling servers you will need. Okay. And so we did get 45 grand for completing the first milestone. Good job reaching your first milestone. Next, we need to get you seated on a desk. Go to the purchase menu and buy a beginner desk. Then select a desk and seat yourself. Okay, fantastic. So we're going to go to the radial menu with L2. We need to go to the purchase menu, which looks like a shopping cart, and it's down below. And we're just going to purchase an item. And we can purchase a desk, um, which we will, the beginner's desk. Um, I'm going to push R3 to close her bubble, and I'm going to select the desk with X, and I'm going to push it around here, and it says, um, press X to place items, L1 or R1 rotates, and press circle to remove items, hold R2 to place multiple items at once. I'm just going to build um, one desk for now. So let's build a desk like under this window, I guess. Put it down. Okay, and... I need to seat myself, apparently. So I've moved the item. I'm gonna just take a look at the screen. So there's a, a help badge flashing in the upper corner that I can push L3 to get. We're on Wednesday, day one, year one. The game is paused, which is indicated, I believe, by the uh, orange square around the screen. The border there. I have zero new jeets, which I think is just tweets. Uh, it's 8 a.m. I've got 32 research, or whatever that science thing is. I've got 47 grand, and I retire in 49 years. That's just the tick down. It's up there on the screen at all times for me to see and enjoy. Okay, and the incompetent website, we're globally positioned at number 60, uh, so that's a pretty good global position. We're using 0% of the server. Um, we have 0% potential users, that's a doozy, and our growth is zero. That's also bad, but it happens. All right, I'm going to push L3 and see what this means, and it says purchasing items. I did this. Oh, it's a new tutorial. Anytime you're in building, you're in a building, you're able to purchase using the purchase menu. All items have to be researched from the research menu. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Before they can be purchased. 
The selection of items depends on the type of building, office, or hosting that you have selected. Fair enough. All right. So I've got this done. And um, as far as like seating yourself, I'm going to select the workstation pushing X. And it says empty workstation. And let's put me there. And I did it. And I got five grand. I love just getting money for sitting down. Man, what a job. Sweet. We're now ready to hire some employees. Select your CEO, if not selected already, and to headhunt and hire your first employees according to the next milestone in the top right corner. All right. So it says hire one designer and one developer. Okay. Remember to buy and seat them at a desk. All right. So uh, we're going to close her window, and I'm going to select my CEO, and I'm going to start headhunting, and we need a designer and a developer all right so let's get a get a designer here and we're head hunting okay uh, I guess I need to unpause the game to do that so I'm gonna push the right button and you can see at normal speed this progress bar is just filling up and I can just speed this up and I'm gonna speed it up big time and I'm gonna pause it I'm sorry pause it with down and just take a look uh, Cordelia Poole is a beginner, and her speed is at 80%. So let's headhunt one more person and see if we can get somebody better. Okay, so I'm going to go to max speed, and I'm going to pause again. And um, Dylan is also a beginner, but he's faster than Cordelia. So um, let's select him and see uh, what's going on here. He's... He works at Amazon, hilarious. He's 35 years old, and um, he's awaiting our offer. So let's just send him an offer. It's right in the middle, the salary of $48.50. Uh, let's just see what he says about this offer. And he just accepts it. So he's like, yeah, I'm in. I hate my, my job. I'm, I'm in for you. Okay, great. So then we can go back, and we hired this dude. So let's stop headhunting this, and I'm going to select cancel. I'm going to select select headhunting again, and I'm going to go over to... Um, developer and I'm going to um, do this but I'm going to close this and I'm going to keep him. he's head hunting right now the CEO at that desk and you can see his job in the little bubble that's coming out from him um, and he's at 100% happiness I believe and what we need to do is quickly just go to the radio menu I need to buy a couple of desks so I'm going to go back to the shopping screen I'm going to buy this desk and we're going to put down two desks I'm going to try to use the uh, R2 feature, I think. They said, like, multiple items. So I'm going to hold R2 and then just... Um, oh, okay. X and then, yep, and then I'm still holding R2 and I'm going to buy another one and put it right in the corner there. Okay, great. So now we have enough desks for all the employees that we're prospectively trying to hire. And I'm going to push circle to get out of this. And I'm going to just unpause the game and let the head hunting happen oh you know what i need to pause the game it's the end of the day already it looks like start time machine i need to select this and put dylan on the job and he's at home right now and oh everybody's gone home it's the end of the day so start time machine we just wait it passes time really rapidly and i'm going to pause and let's see how the head hunting is going i'm going to select and we have found um, Hilda Wong, who is 80% speed. Um, let's just go ahead and try to get another person and pause it. Um, very similar is Elnora Moran, but she has a higher upside of 182%. So let's just go ahead and hire her and just, just send her this offer. I'm using the L-stick, by the way, to move around on these windows. And she's down. She's like, I accept. So I push circle to cancel, circle to close again. I'm going to select this desk and put Elnora to work. Boom, five grand. We completed the milestone. Well done hiring your first employees. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Next, we need to do some researching in order to get started with our website. Go to the research menu, select the features tab, and select the landing page. I'll get back to you when you're done. All right. They're not really doing anything, so I need to give them a job, I'm sure, eventually, but... Um, we're going to go to the research menu and hold L2, and the research menu um, is down here, and we're just going to select it, and 
I'm gonna she wants me to select a landing page so I'm gonna push R3 to close her up and on research I'm going to kind of look around for a landing page um, oh these are human resources let's go to production features okay so it's features so I selected the feature tab using the right bumper and landing page is the first thing it's gonna take 12 research points to unlock it so I'm gonna select it get five grand you now know how to research you can only unlock stuff when you have available research points the points are generated by researchers but we'll look into this later now it's time to add the landing page to our new website press the corresponding button to open your website and select the features tab choose an empty feature slot next use the button to add the landing page when you're done, upgrade the landing page to level one so that you can increase your website's potential users. This number indicates how many registered users you can attract. To upgrade the landing page, you will need your employees to produce the required components. Okay, so I'm gonna push L3. Remember there are, um, I'm gonna, actually, I have to close this first. I'm gonna push L3. There are some tutorials that have popped up um, for researching. Everything in Startup Company has to be unlocked via the research menu. After unlocking an item, it will instantly be available in the relevant context. All unlockables require a certain number of research points to be spent in order to be unlocked. You can produce research points by hiring researchers. Tip, after everything has been unlocked, there's no longer any need for researchers and you should feel free to fire them. Ah, I mean, isn't that ironic that like they're doing their job only to create their own obsolescence? Ouch. All right, recruitment. You can recruit and hire employees via your CEO or a recruiter. Binoculars. Um, so headhunting is done through two interactions. First, you headhunt them, um, and they can only headhunt employees of the same level as themselves. So the level of your recruiter or CEO depends on what kind of talent you're going to get. You're only able to research each candidate's expected salary. Uh, you're able to. This gives you a good estimate of what they expect oh i'm probably paying people too much then second you can choose to also research their demands this allows you to avoid candidates who do not fit into your current office i didn't do either of that those things so that's pretty embarrassing researching any of these details will increase the time it takes to headhunt a candidate headhunted candidates will only be available for 96 hours and then you can negotiate with them and instantly hire them Expert recruiters are able to instantly hire a candidate for a fixed salary. This allows you to avoid completing the time-consuming negotiation process. Oh, okay. Well, I just did that because they had low expectations. Anyway, um, we're going to now go to the radio menu. And I'm going to select our website. And um, we're going to go to our website here. And I'm going to go to features. And we need to add a feature, so I'm going to go use the left stick to go to add feature and we need to add our landing page so I'm gonna um, just select uh, basic features and landing page okay and we did it and um, okay that looks good I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna move time forward a little bit and I'm gonna pause it increase potential users to 2000 all right let me open the website again and just uh, go to features and can I upgrade it? Do I want to upgrade it? Mm, I don't have the requirements. I don't have the stuff. All right. So can I give you a job, Dylan? Ah, here we go. So I need to tell these people to like get stuff, right? And um, designers create blueprint components um, and wireframe components and then graphics components and UI elements. So he's a designer, so he can make all of these things. So I need to make these components to build things, okay? So let's go ahead and, I guess, give him a job. Be like, hey, make one of everything, all right? And I'm gonna just speed up time a little bit. Okay, and we're moving time. We're at home, I'm gonna start the time machine and it's a new day i'm going to pause it and it says increase potential users to 2000 now she said um upgrade the landing page to level one all right so i didn't do that yet so let me open this and it looked like i couldn't do it i'm going to select this and i'm going to select it and uh let's see 
I want to upgrade its level to one, but I need, yeah, I need these components. So I need to get my people to get um, all of these different features in. Looks like there's two design features and um, maybe some other features that the developer can get. Now I'm going to select her and say, hey, we need some of these features. Yeah, we need you to develop these. And I'm going to just select one of everything for now. I don't know what to prioritize on. So I'm just kind of telling her to, to build these. And then I'm going to go to my CEO, actually. And he's headhunting a bunch. Um, and I don't know if I need all of this. So I'm going to kind of tell him to cancel headhunting for the, for the time being. I can have him train. Um, but instead, I'd rather have him... Um, I could change his role to a developer right now. And just have him also produce some stuff for us. So I'm going to kind of do this just to get more production of components going. And I'm going to um, just speed up the game. And we're researching. And there they go. And we're getting components and we're done. I'm going to start the time machine. It's a new day. And here we go. And they're working. And I'm going to kind of pause it. And I'm going to look at our resources. So I'm going to kind of just take a gander at, let's see, help, websites, outsourcing, benefits, competitors, finance, um, inventory. Okay, so we have wireframe components, one, two UI components, no graphics components. We have a backend component, no blueprints. Okay, so he should be working on those for now, right, Dylan? Can I count on you? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, no, they are going to. No, wait a minute. What happened here? I don't think I understand what I'm doing. I think I thought I was queuing these up, but um, he made wireframe. But now he's making this. But he added this back to the queue and he didn't create these for me. So let's go ahead and... Uh, push L3 and just look at um, website features. There are two types of features in startup company, basic features and revenue features. A feature will take one slot on your website. You only have as many slots as your current framework supports. All features have to be researched using the research menu. Base features increase your website's user capacity. The added capacity is based on the level of the feature. You can upgrade the level by pressing the upgrade button. Each level requires a set of up components, okay? And revenue features do not take up any compute units and do not increase the website's response time. Instead, they allow you to monetize your website, okay? And there's framework limitations. And then the frameworks is the structure of your website overall. And we need to upgrade this to allow more features to be installed, I'm sure. I'll look at that in a moment, but... Um, I want to make sure, like, let's just take a, uh, let me pause it and just take a gander at what do I need for my, to upgrade my, this. I need, um, if I want to just give it one level, I need uh, the brochure and the paintbrush icon. Let me see what those are. Those are design things. Dylan, I need, um, oops, pause it. Okay, he's working on the brochure. I'm going to close that for now. Um, and have him, he's making a UI element actually at the moment. Oh, maybe it goes right to left. Maybe I'm not looking at this correct. Um, all right. Now let's see what happens. He's doing the UI element. He's working on it and he's gone home and he's, he quit. All right blueprint components let me pause it and just take a gander at this dude what are you doing now he's making a blueprint component which is what we need him to be making okay good and he made this okay all right so keep doing that i'm gonna speed it up and now he's making a graphics component which is the paintbrush which we want and if i look at him again yep he is moving from left to right okay i just got kind of confused about why Anyway, good. Now we're on a, a roll here. We just need this paintbrush to get done. And um, we can upgrade our website. All right, he's done. 
So I'm going to push square and I'm going to go to the features and I'm going to go to upgrade the landing page and we can, oh, I thought I had, I thought he finished. Did he fail? Oh, you know what? He didn't, he tried, but it's gone. Did he fail to make it? Maybe they can fail. I thought he was making the graphics component. Well, um, I right, start the time machine, and he's making UI element and wireframe component, and he's gone home. He's finishing the wireframe. He's doing blueprint. There's the graphics. And let me pause the game. Now let me see. Features. Landing page. Um, we still need graphics component. Alright. So I'm going to tell Dylan. I'm going to tell him to stop making. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to tell him to stop making everything except graphics components. Because we're just not getting it done. I don't know what is happening here. But um, he's working on it. Alright. Go for it. Um, we got a new Jeep. How about that? And we will boost up the time. All right, now he should have made two of them. Let me upgrade the landing page. And now we've got it, and we're going to go to upgrade. All right, we did. And now it can... We're at level one, so we have um, 2,000 potential users. Okay, good. And we did upgrade it. And I'm going to tell Dylan to start making everything again. We got the milestone done. Um, let me get the rest of these items on here for construction. Okay, good. Wow, your new landing page will definitely make people excited about an incompetent website. All we need is a bit of marketing to get some traffic. Go to your website and select the marketing tab. From there, create an email campaign and watch the number of registered users increase. Don't be afraid to increase the daily budget. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go over here and um, let's check Jitter. And we got a tweet that says it's time for our weekly update and it's we're not involved. So, okay. Um, we're going to go to our website, Square, and we're going to go to marketing. And she wants us to create an email campaign. So I'm going to just select an email campaign and we're going to promote the landing page okay and gender any age any interests any this is fine we don't really care um and let's see do i want to make this more expensive all right i created it the budget is one thousand dollars um i guess i could edit this and i could bump this up and just bump this budget up to let's double it let's spend two grand nothing wrong with spending two thousand dollars a day on my campaign all right and we're going to go back and we're going to go we're just going to move time and watch our users go up there it goes start the time machine and we did it all right so our potential users is at a hundred percent and um we created that we've reached a milestone okay and we got a bunch of money awesome that will do for now in the future you will be able to hire marketers for more efficient campaigns now it's time to get back to our website and add more features hire a researcher to generate research points as soon as possible research yet another feature by opening the research menu and selecting the features tab okay after unlocking the new feature make sure to add it to your website using the features tab on your website. While you wait, you might want to spend some time looking at your employees' demands in the stats tab. Okay, so she wants us to get more features. We need to hire a researcher, so I'm going to get Dr. Incompetent back on um, being a recruiter. I'm going to pause it and go back here, and I need to select recruiter, and we need to start headhunting um, researchers. Okay, and we're doing that now. Now I'll pause it. And I'm going to look at this person, their beginner, Corey. And um, we can, oops, pause it again.
he's working at Dap Chat. Good for you. Um, I'm just going to send him an offer of thirty six fifty to start out. We're taking all hands here. Good. And then now um, I'm going to go back and we're going to buy a desk for this dude. Okay. And um, I'm going to put him right next to me because uh, I need to keep an eye on this researcher and make sure that the research is happening. I'm going to select Corey for this and he's researching. We have 20 points, so he should just periodically just give us more research points. Now, I'm going to select Dylan, for example, and we can go to his training. And um, we can use training to increase his speed. Um, okay. Or I can look at his stats. So he demands... His demands are a whiteboard, a coffee machine, a small retirement plan, and a plant in a black vase. Um, okay. So we could go into here and purchase, you know, for example... Um, a plant in a black vase because some people want that and we'll just put it in the office like you know right there and maybe people became happy about that I don't know and what does she want what are your demands you want a coffee machine and to work seven hours a day I don't know about that but we can get you a whiteboard maybe I'll start the time machine and we need to add two features. So let's open our website and let's check the features and we can add a feature which would be um, a profile page and an item listing, I suppose, but we need to research that. So let's go back and let's open up the research menu and let's say we need to go to features and we could research um, an item listing for only 30 research points um, or, whoa, these are expensive. Goodness gracious. Okay, um, so she wants me to do research, which I understand, but I might need another researcher. Like, it's going to take me forever to get research points. Look at this. I, I'm getting... No, actually, no, it's it's going okay. Oh, but I got to stop my um, CEO from headhunting here. I don't... Well, you know what? Let's hire another researcher. Do we have any that are good? Oh, yeah, look at this one. Edward. Get him. All right, good. And I'm going to go ahead and build a desk over here. That looks nice and crowded, and we will put Edward to work researching. And then let's we'll start the time machine. Next day is coming in, and we're just going to slow it down a bit. And I'm going to... I'm almost there, actually. All right, we got 31 research points now, so we can go into the research screen, and we can research a new feature, which would be... Now, uh, the only one we can really get is um, either video functionality... I thought it seems pretty good, or um, an item listing. Let's go video functionality, and we will then go to our website, and I'm going to go to features, and we're going to add a base feature of, uh, oh, is that an enhancement feature? No, it's down here. Um, video functionality. We did it. And it says... Great work, your first real feature. Have you noticed a smiley on the top left corner of the features tab? This is indicating how satisfied your users are. Currently, they're not too happy because your new feature is too low level. Keeping satisfaction high is very important. If it becomes low, users will start to abandon your website. Increase your website's satisfaction by increasing the new feature's level. You'll need to hire a lead developer in order to create the required modules. Interesting, okay. So we need a lead developer for that job. So um, can I be the lead developer? Or do I need somebody else? Um, maybe I need somebody else. All right, then let's go over to Recruiter and Headhunt 
We need a... Um, oh, we need to research more employee types. Well, that's, that's a shame. Uh, let me go over here and just develop. And I want to start building more of these components. I don't really have enough. Okay. And we're researching, and that's great. So... Our stats are okay for our website, but it's got a long way to go. We're getting into the game. We have two researchers. We have a graphic designer. We have a, a developer and the CEO of our amazing startup company. And I think this is a great first look at the game and just starting to get into the flow of things. And it plays great on the console, I have to say. All of the features are, are here. Things are streamlined, easy to do. And uh, I think this is going to make a great addition. I think it's on uh, Xbox, Switch, um, PlayStation, uh, as well as Steam. So you can play it wherever you like. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.